Hello everyone. Hope all of you are fine. Uh, this is a novel sir, and today uh, I came to your chemistry lab uh, to demonstrate a simple activity: uh, dissolution or how to prepare an aqueous solution of copper sulfate and uh, displacement reaction between the copper sulfate and iron sulfate. Okay. So this is the chemistry lab. Okay. So often we visit, and uh, so. Let me show you what are the things I am going to use for today's uh, demonstration or activities. Okay. So let me first keep my camera over here. Okay. Now hope it is clearly visible. Okay. So let's see what are the things uh, for today's demonstration I require. Okay. First thing I require ferrous sulfate. You can see this is ferrous sulfate. Okay, and the formula is also mentioned FeSO4 dot 7H2O. So it is a heptahydrate. Okay, and uh, I require copper sulfate pentahydrate. So here is my copper sulfate pentahydrate solution. Okay, so here is the copper sulfate pentahydrate solution. Just a minute. Okay, now and what are the more things I required? Yes, I have taken watch class. This is the watch class I required. Okay. And I have taken in the test tube stand or holders, okay, few test tubes I required. And a stirrer I have taken, a spatula I will be using, okay, droppers. And this is the small beakers which I will require. And without this, it is not possible to conduct today's activity only. Okay, this is your distilled water, right? So, let's uh, see. Uh, let's start uh, with copper sulfate. Okay, how it looks like. Okay, let's see how copper sulfate looks like. Okay, so I'm opening in front uh, of you the cap or the container. Okay, so here is it. Yeah, can you see how copper sulfate? Okay, I am trying to bring the camera. Okay, very close to it. See, this is the color of copper sulfate. Okay, you can see it is blue in color right it is blue in color so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to take out little amount of copper sulfate see this is your copper sulfate let me keep this test tube aside okay i'll take few more amount okay so here i have taken copper sulfate and you have seen it is a crystalline salt and a hydrated salt so this is your copper sulfate hydrated okay so how is it look like see this is how your copper sulfate looks like okay so i'm going to show you uh, with the camera this is how your copper sulfates look like okay so hope all of you have seen now next what i'm going to take yes okay this is a ferrous sulfate heptahydrate now how ferrous sulfate look like let's see okay so here again i'm going to open the container of the ferrous sulfate okay so let's see how it look like okay so here it is a crystalline salt my dear students so you can see the color little greenish appearance is there okay so this is ferrous sulfate here we have fe2 plus that is ferrous okay so i have taken little amount of ferrous sulfate sorry, ferrous sulfate salt in the watch glass okay let me close this container okay so here it is so let me show you once again how the color looks like both you see can you see this is your ferrous sulfate okay how it looks like and this is the copper sulfate okay now we will be performing uh, first thing uh, which I'll do is that I'm going to prepare solution, aqueous solution of both of this salt. Okay. So what is the meaning of aqueous solution? Aqua means water. So I'm going to add them in water and I'm going to prepare their solution. Okay. So the first thing which I'll do is that I will take a little amount of water. Okay. So I'll be taking little amount of water and then gradually i will take see i'm adding ferrous sulfate so here i'm adding ferrous sulfate 
which is blue in color first let us see that whether it is soluble in water or not okay still you can see it has not yet dissolved so with the help of a stirrer i will stir it and then i will check whether it is soluble or not so here you can see that it has already started dissolving and what is the color my dear students my dear students the color is blue solution it become a blue solution okay so little amount if i stir it more so my solution is ready this is your ferrous sulfate aqueous solution yes so what is the color you can see hmm sorry this is a copper sulfate aqueous solution okay so what is the color you can see yes it is blue in color okay so what is the formula cuso4 copper sulfate we are using here okay pentahydrate okay now what about another that is ferrous sulfate so again i will take water distilled water of vsli and then i am to add see i am adding ferrous sulfate this is iron sulfate you can see i am adding iron sulfate so let me add few more and i will check that whether it is soluble or not the first thing i have to check the solubility so i think it's enough now with the help of a stirrer again okay see i have taken another stirrer and then i am going to stir it to make a solution of it and we will see what happens when i am going to add whether something happens or not that also we will find out let's wait and watch okay so here i have prepared see the color it appear little greenish isn't it because of this fe2 plus ion so fe2 plus ion has greenish appearance so that is why you see the color okay so here my both the solutions are ready okay so this is your copper sulfate and this is your iron sulfate or ferrous sulfate okay so let's see what happens okay if i start uh, adding one after the another I mean if i add both of them then what happens okay so for that in the first test tube this is one test tube you can see empty test tube okay so i am be taking little amount of this is your identify the bitter color yes guess what it is yes it is copper sulfate so i have taken copper sulfate so let me add little amount of copper sulfate okay so here i am adding it and then what i will do is that mm -hmm. what i will do is that i will try to keep it in the test stack okay so i kept it uh, i'll show you just wait then i'm going to add you add few amount of this is your ferrous sulfate so i have added ferrous sulfate also here so what is the color you can see it is greenish appearance it is greenish in color so here my both the test tubes are ready yes so one is feso4 another sorry this is your feso4 you can see i'm touching this is your feso4 and this is your cuso4 aqueous solution okay so i have made an aqueous solution of it and i have made an aqueous solution of it aqua mean water okay now let's see what happens if i add if i add now i am taking this test tube what is there my dear students can you identify can you guess yes this is copper sulfate solution okay what will happen if i add what will happen if i add say again i have taken what iron sulfate or ferrous sulfate and i have started reacting see i am adding it okay i am adding it by the side of the test tube let's see what happen 
Oh, see the color is changing, my dear students. You can see the color is changing. Hmm? Yes? So, the color is changing. Hmm? So, gradually the blue color is disappearing. So, I left it like this. And let's see what happened. Now, I'm going to stir it. You just see, notice what happened. Gradually that blue color disappeared. This was the color of the copper sulfate. You can see, compare, okay, with the original solution. So, this is the original solution of copper sulfate which I have taken. And look what happened when I added iron sulfate solution. Did you understand what happened? Actually, iron is more reactive than copper. Okay, in the activity series or in the reactivity series, you will find that iron is above, okay, far above the copper. So, which means iron, Fe, is more reactive. Now, what happened when I added, when I added this iron sulfate which have iron in copper sulfate? Obviously, it displaces that copper from the solution and it takes place, okay. It displaces copper from the solution, okay. And here what did you notice? That the color changes to greenish, which means here copper is displaced by the iron, okay. So with this activity, we understood that first of all, I taught you uh, especially your junior brothers and sisters okay today they have requested me so that is why I have made this video okay uh, of class six and seven, uh, six students especially okay so you understood how to prepare aqueous solution of copper sulfate yes okay and for class eight and nine students okay also for class 10 students as well okay you understood that how that displacement reaction take place so this video is all for you okay so today i hope this video was helpful for you okay thank you for watching okay so stay healthy stay safe and have fun and learn okay so bye bye thank you all for watching once again